Whoa. Steady. Steady. Steady and stay. Andrew Fender. Hill climb. TT champ. Um, amazing effort. Let's get into it. Uh, first of all, what a great name for a climber. Fever. Fever. Uh, incredible. Um, it's like those guys, there's, someone, there's a guy in Australia called Robert Power, and there's Kathy Watts, Kathy Watt, and it's just, you know, anyway, so fantastic effort there, uh, people say, do you think it's natty or not, um, definitely natty, like, if, if you train specific for something, that's all you need to do, that, well, that's not all you need, that's, that's the main thing, like Lance Armstrong, the he's a very famous cyclist, he would train specifically to win the Tour de France, you know, he, nothing else matters, just three weeks a year, a game on, all right? So if you train specifically for something, that's, you just, the, 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 the need for PEDs, oxygen vector doping compounds, is just pretty much non-existent, all right? So my question is, did they train specific to it, for it? You know, like, yeah, people say, oh, but yeah, in the Olympics, people test positive for drugs. Yeah, because you get like, you maybe get like a rugby player uh, trying to become like a, a, a freestyle swimmer. And they're probably going to need PEDs, all right? Or you get like a, a 40 kilo gymnastic scale trying to be a shot putter and she gets pinged for D ball, okay, or DECA. So that happens like that because they weren't training specific to it, okay? Instead of going to shot put practice, they're going to do gymnastics and backflips and stuff. Um, so if you train specific for something, you take away the need for PEDs. Also, just talk about the bike, I think he's using the S Works SLA. These bikes are so fast. Oh my God. They had to actually put disc brakes on there. There's disc, disc brakes, man, on a road bike. That's how fast they are now, man. That's how fast they are, bro. Disc brakes on a road bike because this is the 